Hello folks, it's Java Films and um, this video is going to be about a situation that arose beginning of, towards the beginning of this month and it's a situation that I only found out about, I was looking on Twitter and somebody tweeted about it and it's regarding the 144 to 146 MHz band or the 2 meter band and um, made some notes about it. So basically um, a fence amateur Call sign Foxtrot for Foxtrot X A Lima. He's got a blog. I'll link there. I'll link anything below in the description. Uh, blogs about it, and apparently, um, Fails Group, who do all this unmanned aircraft stuff, want to use the two meter amateur radio band for their little drones. Uh, there was a separate meeting about this, and they said that is needed for non-safety aeronautical border control, fire, and surveillance. And apparently there are not any set frequencies for that purpose. Uh, that was 17th to the 21st of June, during the SEPT meeting. Also the one about the 23 centimetre ban, um, apparently it's interfering with the Galileo GPS system. Well, that's that's not a ban I'm lo not looked into, but... Uh, during this SEPT meeting, on this proposal, there were 13 atten attendees, uh, six of them for corporate companies and four of them of the six were from the fails group and apparently in that meeting they have one every year it wasn't str strongly opposed now that starts to worry people quite a bit the two meter band is one of the easiest bands to get onto you don't need much equipment to do it it's just a cheap handheld you know go on amazon ebay wherever get yourself a both and bang you're on two meters and as radio equipment can be expensive, it's the cheaper option, but I'll do more of this towards the end of the video. Anyway, International Amateur Radio Union viewed it with great concern and they want to try and assure that, um, that the having primary usership on the 2 meter band, it's going to remain that way. A little bit later on, um, let's look at my notes here. They didn't, seem, they didn't seem to be much uh, opposition you know, from the RSGB, the Amateur Radio League in America or anywhere else. But apparently uh, the ARRL on the 25th of the 6th said apparently one administration in June has already opposed it. The RSGB are engaged with the process. And there's been some talk on Facebook, oh well, you know, there's, a, there's no point in two metres is dead. Or... Uh, Oh, we'll let the RSGB get on with it, we don't need to do anything. Well, in all honesty, yes, they're fighting our corner in the United Kingdom. The ARRL may be doing that in America. I mean, this only affects Europe anyway, but it has wider purposes, wider complications. Um, don't know what the French equivalent is, but they should be fighting it. We all should be fighting it. But, like I said before, the two metre band is the easiest band to get onto. If you're starting out on amateur radio, you know, get yourself a get yourself a handheld and there you go, you know, make you an antenna, go on a hill, go portable, sit at home, whichever, it's the easiest band to get onto. It's my favourite band. I have been on HF bands and turn to meters is alright when there's a contest on. Nothing against contesters. Forty metres up and down at the moment. I've not touched eighty, I don't have a big enough antenna for it. Two metres is my favourite band and it would be sad to lose this. It also has safety implications. If you think of Rayonet, they use a two meter amateur band. Uh, you got the repeaters, I um, don't know if you remember, a year ago, year and a half ago, there's a guy in Bristol monitoring the repeater and the emergency call came through. Someone on, um, I think it was Exmoor, Dartmoor, she needed medical assistance and I'm a trade operator, got through to the Peter, he contacted emergency services, I'll link that below also as well. So there's safety implications, there's that many repeaters in the United Kingdom, I'm sure there's loads in France that use a two metre band, it'd be difficult to kick them off. You also got satellite downlinks, the International Space Station has the downlink. Um, whenever it comes up on Twitter that they're going to be talking with the schools, so you've got the science applications there. And in all honesty, I think I think the Fells Group has n do not have a clue about what they want to be doing. You can't just suddenly say, well, we need more aeronautical frequencies, so 
Yeah, we take the two metre band. No. For my do cold, dead hands. And I'm taking a stand for this. This won't go through. Hopefully this will not go through. But if it does, how are they going to place it? They, they, they can't. You think of the amount of ages that have the two metre capabilities. New ones coming out, current ones, and old ones. We all got two metres on them. The majority of them are. I mean, I can't speak for every age. So what can we do about this? Well, there already is a petition out. I've not looked at it myself, but judging by some of the comments from it, it's it's poorly worded. Some people are saying, oh, leave it up to the RSGB. They, 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 they'll sort it. Leave it to Ofcom. They'll sort it. Well, that's all ring very well if they're fighting a corner, but we need to help them fight our corner. So here's what we can do. Get on the two metre band as much as possible. Create as much traffic as possible. Because if the Fells group have any brains behind them, they might be monitoring the two metre band. They, they could just switch on five minutes and hmm, it's dead. Uh, let's monitor it all day. Oh, it's dead. We can have it. No. Use it as much as you can, whether it be repeaters, satellites, simplex, anything. Use the two metre band. When you upload this video, it's going to at Fails Group when it links it to Twitter. Use that use hashtags hands off two metre band. Keep the two metre band on amateur band. We'll come up with some hashtags. I'll put the hashtags below. What else can we do? If you're watching this on YouTube and you have a YouTube account, make a video similar to this. Explain what's happened, what you want, what we need to do. But why you love the two metre band? I love the two metre band myself because it's less equipment for me to carry when I go portable. Plus, you're always guaranteed a contact on two metres. At least I've never had been up a hill and not get a contact on two metres. Best DX was Rawhead. North Wales to the Lake District, and that's like over 130 odd miles, and that's on 10 watts with vertical. So the two meter band is an amazing band, and it would be sad to lose this. I uh, saw another comment on Facebook about this whole debacle, saying that the old VOR aircraft navigational aids they're being reduced and using for GPS, and the um, it's going to 8.33 hertz spacing. So if that's before the frequencies are going to that for the airports, then surely there must be space for the fails group on the little drones. And we all know they're not drones that everyone else uses, you know, take pictures. They're drones for um, surveillance in war situations, but that's, um, that's another conversation because I don't really... I don't support war. I support the troops, but I don't support the war, so anyway. So yes, yeah, so that's this is my thoughts on it. I know it's a brief video. I've not gone into much details. All links will be in the uh, description, ARRL, the uh, blog post, everything like that, will be in the description. We need to fight this. We need to help the RSGB in all the other regions. We need to help them fight. Because for one thing, I am not losing the two meter band. And if it does happen, which I doubt it will, I will continue to use it. Now you can report whoever's you know if anyone is watching this. Oh well, we report them. And as amateur age operator, we're not allowed to cause interference to others. You look at the 70 cents band, we're secondary user. And we're all right with secondary user, as long as we don't affect the primary user, which is the UK military. But, I wouldn't mess with the 70 cents band, mess with the military, because they have guns, I don't know. If this ever goes ahead, I'm going to continue using 2 metres, and I don't give a toss. You can report me if you want. You can then go tell the oh, oh, off come all this guy's reporting it because I guarantee it, I won't be the only one. We must take a stand from this. So if you agree with this, you know, like it, share it around, make your own YouTube videos, and if everyone makes their own YouTube videos, I'll put them in a playlist. Uh, if this still looks like bad news, I'll send the playlist to Fails Group, RSGB, Ofcom, ARRL. If we all club together on this, we can make a difference. That's it for now. I am now going to uh, charge my batteries up because hopefully tomorrow, if the weather's decent, we do some portable operating. So, um, hope we get some good contacts on two meters. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. 70 theme, good DX, and I'll.
See you in the next one.